Today we're here in the garden at our Daily Bread Food and Resource Center in Stillwater and we're going to talk about tomatoes. I think for most of us gardeners our, our holy grail is finding the ideal tomato trellis system. And so here we have a, an example unfortunately of, of a great idea that just didn't quite work out. So I have here a kind of a variation of the, the stake and weave system. And I was particularly excited about this because I, this was some old surplus electrical wire and I thought, gosh, that'll be great. This little, uh, this little insulation will, will provide some extra uh, uh, protection against damaging the, the tomato stems. But as you can see here, it, it, the, the, it's safe to say this is a bust. There's simply too much, um, too much uh, stretch in this wire and it has not done what I would hope it would do. But fortunately, we have a, a, an, another example over here that we're a lot more excited about. So we'll step over here and take a close look. So here we are in Cherry Tomato Canyon, and I want to sh show you this uh, trellis system that we're a lot more excited about. And uh, several reasons that, that I'm excited about this, and, and we'll talk about that in, in detail in, in a few moments. But if you look here, this is a, a, a heavy duty cattle panel and our local farm and garden center uh, calls this a bull panel. So I don't know uh, how, I, how much of an identifier bull panel is if you start to do something like this, but I will tell you that this panel is, is 50 inches tall and this is one gauge wire. And uh, critically important, I think, is these are, this is a six by six inch spacing. And some of the things I, I like about this is, uh, first of all, it's, it's very strong. I, I can actually physically uh, climb on this if I want to. It's, it's very steady. We, we only have um, a, a T-post every eight foot or so, uh, and it, it's handled our, our, our winds just fine this summer. It, it also is very handy to, and quick to weave our tomatoes as they grow through. So we've just, we send a volunteer through here once or twice a week and they simply work the tomatoes and, and push them. And so it, that's very simple, very straightforward. No ties are involved. Uh, it's quick, it's simple. Uh, for a community garden like this, it's easy to, to show a volunteer what they need to do and they can take it and run with it. Another thing I like about this, this idea is cleanup at the end of the season is, is really, really straightforward. Uh, if we can come down here and, and take a look. So I, I should point out that we're, we're doing this segment in the second week of August. So these tomatoes are tired. Don't beat us up too bad about that. They've been very productive this year. Uh, we've gone in about 10 days ago and, and, and done a, a very heavy pruning and they're getting ready for a second run. But anyway, I'm going to use this one right here that, that has not done well just to show you. When it comes cleanup time this fall, you know, I can just come in here and just with a few clips, I can, I can get these old tomatoes out of here. I, I don't have to remove anything from the wire, it's already clean. Uh, and then in this particular, in this particular case, uh, we're going to come in this fall and, and plant peas, so we will leave this in place. However, if we were going to, if we were going to rotate this, this garden to something, or this bed to something else next year, uh, we would simply uh, remove a couple of wires from the T-post and then this whole panel, we can go store it over in a corner. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's handy and we're ready to go next time. Uh, I think if I was gonna do one thing differently, uh, we will do one thing differently next year. These are actually six foot, um, six foot T post. And while they've performed well for us, we haven't had uh, any 70 or 80 mile an hour straight line winds that, that many of you have, have, have uh, had this, this summer. Had we had those, there is a, a chance had the soil moisture uh, been really, really high that these could have blown over. So I think next, 
moving forward, we'll use an eight foot T post here instead of the six foot. And then we, the eight foot would also allow us to, to, to wire this, this bull panel up higher up if we wanted to, our tomatoes growing higher. But, but this height works well for us. Uh, almost all our volunteers, even our, our children, can, can reach most of the tomatoes up here. So uh, this is a project here in our daily, our daily bread garden that we're just very pleased with. Um, anytime you're in Stillwater, we'd love to have you stop by the garden at Our Daily Bread and take a look at, at our project and what we have going on. The address is 712 East 12th Street. And so for those of you familiar with Stillwater, that's just off of Perkins Road on the, on the south side of uh, Stillwater. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.